Pisces, thanks for visiting. This is your reading for July, the 9th to July, July, July the 15th. I can't say July. Um, yes, I'm, I just want to apologise for not um, doing your reading last time. Um, you and Aquarius were the ones um, I missed out on. I had a lot I was going through um, and I can only apologise for that. So I'm going to, for now on, I'm going to do you and Aquarius first. You're going to be first. And um, yes, that's all I can really say about that, but apologise. Um, but as always, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. And I have everything ready. I'm going to start your reading for lovely Pisces people. The first card you have you passed is the Four of Cups. So yes, this is about choices. This is about not wanting to accept choices or being stressed by choices or just sitting there refusing things, not being sure what to do. Um, and um, I am seeing some stress here actually, I'm seeing that this could be about, um, yes you do have choices, I am seeing two, two choices that you had at this time, you might still have them but this is what was happening at this time. Um, I'm seeing that there was stress involved in both choices, so you might have had one choice um, where you might have felt a little bit exposed if you had this choice. It might have involved something where you had to fill out a form and tell them information about you that you didn't want to, you felt a little bit stressed or a little bit, um, yes, exposed is the only word I can think of, um, unhappy about revealing things to people but you knew that this is what you had to do. Now if you took another choice I'm seeing um, you were going to disappoint someone and you felt very, very stressed about that, that's what I'm seeing here. So you had these choices. You knew one was probably the better choice, but you were kind of um, wanting to reject that in a way. But you knew you had to make this choice. You knew you had to make that. I am seeing there was some information you wanted to keep private, but you couldn't do that if you had to make one of these choices. And um, you were feeling very uneasy about that. I am feeling this very uneasy, uncomfortable feeling around this. But I think you knew this was the best choice for you to make, but you might have had someone wanting you to make the other choice and you knew that if you didn't make the choice they wanted you to make you would disappoint them that's what i keep on seeing with this card i hope it makes sense the next card you have you passed is the six of cups so yes i'm seeing family with this card i'm seeing visiting family going back into your past this can be about you know reminiscing about the past or going back to seeing people of your childhood and things like that um and um I'm seeing this mostly positive time. You might have visited some um, relatives or something like that. There is one person who um, they're related to, but I'm not seeing they're related to you closely. They might be a distant relative or they might be um, related to you by marriage or something like that. This person's a very difficult person. They might not have even said anything at this time in this visit, but I think that I'm just seeing just by their very presence, they make things quite um, uneasy and quite difficult, very awkward. They give anything an awkward edge, any kind of get together or anything like that. So I am seeing that there was some kind of subtle thing that this person was doing. Or they, were create, or they might have done that in your more distant past and then you knew you had to be around this person and it was making you feel a little bit uneasy as well. Because I'm not seeing arguments, I'm not seeing fights or arguments, I'm just seeing a kind of a subtle atmosphere. So when you're speaking to other people it's okay, but when you're around this person um, there was always an atmosphere and that was making, it was giving things a bit of an edge, even though this was a happy time, this was a good time you were spending with people, this person gave this thing a bit of an edge, a bit of a kind of an awkward edge, if that makes sense. The last card you have you passed is the Queen of Wands. So yes, I'm actually seeing that you did have someone helping you with this choice you had to make. This person was on your side. This person is a very efficient person. They're a very, um, they're an ambitious person as well, I'm seeing. They're a very good person to have on your side and they were on your side trying to, maybe trying to advise you, trying to help you with which decision to make. And I'm seeing that they were probably trying to um, guide you toward the decision that, you know, was against this other person. Not, a, not against them, oh, but away from this other person because I'm seeing this other person does bring you a kind of stress. They're kind of trying to guide you toward one way, but you knew that the other um, 
decision you had to make was the right one. And this person's also telling you this. That's what I'm seeing, or they were at this time. Um, yes, if this resonates, do listen to this person. I'm seeing that they have, they make a lot of sense. They're a very sensible person. They care about you. And they're very smart, very smart and ambitious. So they know the right decision to make. And I think they're trying to guide you toward that and help you in a positive way. The first card you have here present is um, the tower, yes. Um, this could be about this decision you were struggling with um, in the Four of Cups. I'm seeing that this, yeah, I'm seeing this as a message to you. This is telling you to move away from this person and um, move toward the decision that doesn't involve this person. That's what I'm seeing. Um, I hope this makes sense because I am seeing a person involved with one decision and a lot of kind of paperwork or something involved in another decision but the person in the first decision doesn't want you to make the second decision i hope this all makes sense it sounds very confusing but i hope it makes sense to you um this is someone who's actually trying to control you just be very careful i'm seeing a lot of control in this tower situation um this is someone who hasn't been giving you space to make your own decisions or something like that or they're trying to prevent you from forming your own opinions or making your own decisions or something like that if you look at this tower it's built on a rough rocky hill there's nothing around it there's no solid space or solid ground or anything around it just imagine if you're looking at this tower and there was a door in it and you walked out the door you'd be falling straight down there's no there's no um solid ground around it. There's no grass, there's nothing around it. So this person might be preventing you or they might be stopping you from actually going out on your own because there's nowhere to go. I'm not seeing literally that they're locking you inside the house and not letting you out, but they're being very subtle in the way that they're trying to control your decisions, not letting you make your own decisions or something like that. That's what I'm seeing. Um, Yes, there's controlling behaviour, definitely controlling behaviour going on. That's what I'm seeing with this card. And um, they think they're more important than you as well. Uh, someone who doesn't make you let you make your own decisions does think they're more important than you. Look at this crown. There's a crown at the top of this tower. So this is a message. This is telling you, walk away from whoever this is. Um, this may or may not be a relationship situation. I'm seeing that it might not be. It might be, but I'm not seeing a love relationship here. Um, but if this resonates, please walk away from this person who's doing this to you. They're trying to control you. It's all going to end. It's all going to come crashing down anyway. What they have for you is not stable. They're trying to stop you from making your own decisions. Now, this might be very subtle. Again, I'm not seeing them putting you, locking you away in a tower and, and throwing away the key and not letting you out. I'm not seeing this person kind of saying to you, I don't want you to do this. This is very subtle. This might be someone who says, oh, I'll help you do this. Hmm, I'll speak to them for you. And then they're manipulating things. It might be something like that. Be very careful. The next card you have your present is the Page of Pentacles. So this card can be about wanting to be stable with this great big coin, uh, looking up to being stable, wanting to being stable, but maybe um, seeing it, maybe seeing stability in front of you, but not quite having it, um, not quite having it yet, having to take some steps to get to there, if that makes sense. Um, this page has this coin at the tips of his fingers. He's looking up to it. He's not quite grasping it yet. So he's not quite there yet. This is showing you that if you make an effort to move away from this person in the tower, you will have this stability eventually. It might take time, but you'll have this. This is what you want. This is what you want. Look at the difference. There's no stability in the tower. There's absolutely not one bit of stability in the tower. It's the most unstable card in the whole deck. You will not have stability with that person. They do not want your best interest. They want, they're want. they thinking about themselves. That's what I'm seeing. Please move away from whoever this is. That's what these two cards are showing you. The last card you have your past is the Tam of Swords. Yes. Again, I know this is negative and I know this is very specific and I know I'm being repetitive again and again. I'm sorry about that. 
that's what I'm seeing. Put an and to this controlling person. Do not be around this controlling person. That's all I can say. You will only start to get the stability. You'll only start to move forward and make your own decisions and know yourself properly if you move away from whoever this is. The first card you have for your future is the Ten of Pentacles. Again, stability. The Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate instability. Um, stability is definitely here for you, definitely here for you in your future. You need to take steps to move toward that yourself. You cannot sit where you are around this controlling person expecting the stability to come to you. It will not while you're around this person. You need to take the steps to move away from them. Um, this is what I'm seeing. Um, Yes, I keep on seeing that they might not be someone you're involved with romantically. They might be, but I, I keep on seeing that they might not be. This might be because maybe I'm seeing that they shouldn't be. It might be that. I don't know. Um, but I am seeing this as someone who, they believe that they're close to you. They believe that you, know, you should be close to them and you should only listen to them and not listen to anyone else. They don't have your best interests in mind. They have their own best interest in mind. That's what I'm seeing. The other thing I'm seeing with this is there could be someone who is interested in you romantically, another person, a different person. Um, whoever this is in the tower could be preventing this because I'm seeing that maybe this person in the tower is preventing you from even forming other friendships or something like that. They're very subtle. It might be like they're trying to take up your time so that you don't have time to see other people. It might be that they cause some kind of arguments so that you feel very uneasy and then you feel down and then you're not ready to face other people or talk to other people. It might be something like that. I keep on seeing this very subtle controlling behaviour. Um, there is stability for you. Again, this is showing me the same thing. There's stability for you. There are other people that care for you, but you need to lose this person first if you're going to move forward. That's what I keep on seeing. The next card you have for future is the Emperor. So yes, you have a lot of work ahead of you, I'm seeing. That's what the Emperor is. Solid, hard work, pushing things forward. Um, and Yes, getting away from this tower person. You're going to have to do this. This is going to take work to do this. And it's going to take strength to do this. Like the Emperor, he has a suit of armour. He's wearing that. He's ready to get up and fight. That's what you need to be like. You have to be ready to get up and move away from this person. They're going to give you a bit of a fight. But you're going to have to do this yourself. I'm also seeing some really good ideas coming to you at this time. You're going to be feeling quite passionate about these new ideas. It might be, um, this is like a flame igniting in you, something very interesting coming up for you. Um, lots of red, lots of fire in this card, lots of passion, lots of interest. This could be a business idea, this could be a money-making idea, because the Ten of Pentacles is above this. But you're going to have to get rid of this controlling person because they're taking up space in your head. They're taking up everything. They're trying to make decisions for you. They're trying to influence you. You need to get away from them. You need to get away from them. That's the only way you're going to be able to do these things. The last card you have in your future is the Six of Wands. So look at this victory card. You're going to have victory. If you follow this thing you want to do, if you follow this fantastic idea, if you follow what you want to do yourself, if you don't follow what someone else wants you to do, you follow your own mind, you follow your own heart, you follow your own things, you follow what you feel passionate about, not what this person wants you to do, you will have victory. All I can say is get away from whoever this is. Um, it, this won't resonate with everyone, of course, it never does, it's general reading, but I hope it resonates with the right people because someone is around someone who's trying to control them. And look at all these amazing things you have in your future. You have the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Emperor, you have you know, the Six of Wands, you have victory. If only, if only you get away from this person. So Pisces, I hope this resonated, but you know, as you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you like this reading, please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so, so much for watching.